So, Norwich City against Southampton in the third round of the FA Cup. Expect changes. Don't expect to see James Madison, but we may well get a first look this season of Matt Jarvis. Paddy Davitt, Eastern Daily Press Chief Norwich City writer, is with me now. Uh, Paddy, what did you make of that press conference with the, the manager? Yeah, that no, was good. It's all, all positive. Plenty of banter. Um, not always been the case of late. And uh, to me, that's probably indicative of it's a bit of a break from the league grind uh, this Saturday. Um, Obviously, they're saying they want to win the game and the team that Alex Neil selects will reflect that. But we all know it's really three points at Rotherham the following weekend. That is the priority. Um, however much it would be nice to have an actual run this year in the FA Cup, if you're a Norwich fan. Um, yeah, all positive, all positive. Yeah, quite quite happy to sort of say that, you know, it's it's a game they think he thinks they can win. But, um, you know, it's hard it's hard to second guess because we, I'd imagine Southampton will make plenty of changes as well but um, his room for manoeuvre is a little bit limited in certain areas of his squad uh, reference central midfield because Dorans is out for two months he's now told us this afternoon um, but he doesn't need surgery Louis Thompson is back on the grass light training won't be available this weekend and uh, obviously left back you've really only got Martin Olsen um, because he's more or less as, as he said with Madison Toffolo won't be in his thoughts this weekend so that's that's an area he's going to have to give some serious consideration to because you wouldn't want Martin Olsen to uh, pull up uh, clutching his hamstring in the first half against Southampton and he's out for a number of weeks. So I think two words, balancing act. That's what it'll boil down to on Saturday in terms of team selection. Yes, they want to win the game, but they also need to protect some of their key men. We will, of course, see Nathan Redmond back possibly at Carroll Road, a man that Alec Neal felt that he improved during his time at Carroll Road, which I'd say is, is fair enough. I, I thought it was interesting, Alec pointed out the fact that uh, he's earmarked the next three league games as big games. You mentioned, obviously, Rother Rotherham, yeah. but they're then at home to Wolves and Birmingham too. So he, he wants those three games to get Norwich back on track, which that's going to be clearly more important than a, an FA Cup game coming up. Yeah, it is. And, and in that respect, he's no different to any other manager up and down the country um, who have got something to play for in the league, whether it's staying in that division or, as Norwich are, trying to get out of a division. So Puyel is in the same boat, Claude Puyel, the Southampton manager. They've lost three in the Premier League now. There's, there's a lot of pressure on them mm -hmm. now. He's talking about tiredness in his squad and, and having to freshen it up. And they've got a League Cup semi-final in a three or four days' time at home. Alex Neil seemed to think that might be his priority in terms of these two cup ties and you wouldn't disagree so yeah as I say and he made the point I think it was fair as well it'll be a different team to maybe the one who lined up against Derby but Norwich went to Everton in the League Cup earlier this season Everton changed it up but they still had the likes of Ross Barkley I recall that night um, one or two other front line players and Norwich went there and won 2-0 and, and a young man Josh Murphy uh, further disclaims and, and you'd like to think maybe if we got a similar scenario this weekend, one or two of them younger players who get a chance, if they can impress, then um, that might be the, the longer term legacy rather than obviously getting into the fourth round. Um, we touched on the transfer window, of course, because that's in, in the midst as well. No bids for anyone, really. The, the thing that caught my mind was that he definitely seems open. I don't know. He was trying not to say it, but seems open to Sergi Canos leaving. Um, and I wouldn't necessarily want to claim whether it would be permanent or loan either. He, he didn't seem, he seemed to be quite open-minded on, on the guy's future. And as we know, that's going to be the crux, isn't it? Getting players out before they can get anyone in anyway. Yeah, yeah. to be honest, I read into that uh, because Brentford have been linked to him and, and are permanent. And you think, well, here's a guy they worked so hard to get 12, well, not even 12 months ago, at the start of the season. Um, clearly a highly, highly rated young man, you know, come through Liverpool's academy. I think he was at Barcelona before then. And he's only 19. I think a lot of people forget that. Um, so you think, well, on the face of it, surely he flows into this, and we've seen it again in the last few days with this young Icelandic kid who's been signed, that they are trying to do something for the here and now, which is get back out of this division and into the Premier League, but there's also a longer-term strategy here, and Canos would flow into that. But no, my take on that is if, if, if the money is right for Canos, if the money's right for any of those players in that first-team squad, Norwich will seriously consider, consider it now, because if they don't and they can't shift players out, then there'll be nobody coming in here in the next three or four weeks. So... That's the reality of it. Now, in an ideal world, you probably want to keep a Canos because, as I say, in years to come, he, he could turn into quite a decent operator. But really, you know, the priority is this this month now. So, um, yeah, wouldn't be at all surprised now from what I've heard there from Alex Neil if, if Canos or somebody of his ilk in that squad um, would, would bid him farewell to them because the priority is to generate funds. And um, as Alex Neil said, he can't pick and choose, I'm only going to let 
X or Y out of my squad and not consider any bids for anybody else. He has to be open minded about this whole process now. You know, it, it isn't just going to be, I don't think, the Robbie Brady's and, and maybe the Tim Closers who attract interest. It could be, and we've seen it already, plenty of interest around Jacob Murphy, reportedly. So there might be decisions that have to be made. Indeed. Uh, Paddy, thank you very much. Uh, we will be uh, there covering the game in all the usual forms. So keep an eye on pinkin.com and Pinkin Show Match Table will be with you on Mustard TV at uh, 8.30pm on Saturday evening to review all the action. 